Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Aaron's Vehicles. So I'm not sure where we left off in the last clip uh, of this CR125 build video, but we ended up putting the transmission back together. There was a bolt that was holding the bearing retainer on the left side of the case um, that the previous owner didn't put Loctite on. So the bolt came out uh, and the retainer and the bolt got pinned against the shift drum, causing it to not shift. So we were able to clean it all up, put it back together, all new gaskets, um, and here it sits right now. I'll also throw some pictures up in the middle of the clip. To show you guys. Uh, but it is now going up for sale. It's a 1999 Honda CR125. 14 hours on a brand new top and bottom end. Everything in there looks great. It all checked out. I saw it myself. Uh, and the asking price for that is going to be $2,400. I am negotiable. So... You guys let me know what you think and if you're interested. So I also ended up buying a 2013 uh, Kawasaki KX250F. Here it is right now. I'll throw some clips in there when I got it. But we pull out the engine and here it sits right now. The previous owner said the bike came to a halting stop. And check this out in here. That's pretty bad. A little hole right through the cylinder. And there's just total carnage in here. Cracks all the way around. This is brutal. So we're gonna be taking a look at this, tearing it apart, see what went wrong. And uh, look at the screen. If you can't tell what those are, those are the oil rings. That is the oil ring on the uh, piston right there. You can see right there. So I went a little bit further on this tear down here. I got all the shifting linkage out. Uh, we got the detent lever taken off, some gears, uh, shift fork, or the shift drum. We got the cylinder off as well taking this off pretty soon here <clears throat> we got some other parts laid out checked out the clutch the clutch looked good um, and everything on the right side of the case looked good too actually there's nothing out of place so it's looking like it's all going to be down here which i assumed already um, and hopefully we can salvage that crank if possible um, but if not we're going to do a whole wrench rabbit kit on it and put it back together hey so i wanted to make a quick side note um, I've done a handful of these rebuilds already on a bunch of different types of motorcycles um, and I still find this really helpful. I think you should try it too for those of you who are just starting out or even if you've done a lot of these before. Um, you can draw a picture of whatever you're taking off like this side clutch cover and you just draw a picture and you put the corresponding bolts in with um, how it lines up on there because a lot of them are different sizes as you can see. Um, and same thing over here with this top end. All right, cam holders, top view, and we got the front of the bike. So uh, just a little side note for those of you who are like unsure about the size bolts and where you want to put them or where they should go. Uh, just something to help remind you guys and help you out, make life a little bit easier for you. So I will be sending you guys videos and updates um, of the build, of the process, and the rest of the teardown. Um, so stay tuned for that. Keep watching and uh, be on the lookout for the next bike. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.